Hi, welcome to another video. Uh, in this video series, I'm going to talk about new feature of Shopify, which is called Store 2.0. And this is a developer uh, type of course where I teach you the new features and how you are going to develop your new team based on the Store 2.0 features, which has a lot of cool features. So there will be a few series. This video will focus on what are the new features and we will show you, I will show you like practical example of where you can find those settings how you can create the store and how you are going to access those settings. So if we dive deep, uh, into the browser and we can see I am in the partner dashboard. Like if you don't know anything about Shopify and how we develop team, I have a dedicated course for team developers, uh, which I recorded last year, but you can still watch it. I will link it in the video that like you can watch at the top of the video. There will be a link. But if you are already familiar with Shopify and how we are developing teams, then it will be much easier for you to uh, go along with this one because this video uh, series will expect you to understand the basic of Shopify and how things are going to work. We will focus only on the new features and there will be a lot of new features we will learn. So if we go to the browser, I'm going to create a brand new development store here. I am in the Shopify partner. I will create a Add a store here. From here, you will pick a development store since we are going to check all the new features. Manage store is for the live stores. The new features will not be available on that. So in here, you will type your store name. For this one, I am going to write a store to, let's say, you should give it a name which does not exist. Exist two point, like O or something like that. This is already taken. Let's say it's like a uh, store with new features and let's see, yeah, this is available. Now we store with new features. Let's put a little hyphen in here also. Yes, this is like the available domain. I'm going to use my email here and then we are going to create a simple password also. I'm not going to use this password because I will always log in from my Shopify portal. And from here you will, you, oops, password does not match, maybe this one. Okay, it is matching now. Now developer preview, you have to check this one because it is going to ask you that you want access to developer preview, which is what you want. Now from here, you will select like that either global uh, nav or duties and taxes. You will pick the global now because we are developing team. The other one is for the API and taxes, which we are not going to use that one. So select the global now. For now, we will focus on team development. That's why we focus on the store 2.0 features. Next up, you will uh, select your address. This is a random address that I have put. Now the, here it is going to tell you that if you are going to create a development store, you cannot transfer it because the feature in this store will not go to the live store but if you want to transfer your store letter make sure you uncheck this checkbox so we'll say yeah the store should be untransferable and that is fine i'm not going to save my password okay it is going to take a few seconds and a few minutes to finish like setting up our new store and we will have access to that okay great now the development store is set up and now we have access to all new features so I will directly go to the new feature and what is new feature? Uh, okay, if I click to the front store, you might see this error. This happened when you uh, first create your store. It is because it does not like know this new URL. Don't worry about that one. We'll focus on the backend for now, but it should be fixed like after a few minutes and it should be fine. So one of the, the feature that everyone wanted was the meta field. So if you go to the setting, there is a new meta file setting which you can apply to every like collection product variant in your customer easily previously you used to do this one or uh, using apps now the collection and customer these are coming soon it is not done yet but when they are done it they will bring it to all development store and live store so for now we'll focus on the product if you want to add extra field to the product page for example you have a product which you want to add a little description and you want to display somewhere which call it excerpt like a simple like definition for that you will come here and you will write it uh, from here you will either pick your own name or they can pick a product like subtitle something like this it is just a suggestion i'm going to come here 
and I will call it excerpt I hope the excerpt yep it should be fine and now here is the key which you can access your metafield and the front store you can access like this like if you want to have it you can say product dot my fields dot excerpt you can of course change this one to something global previously people used to say like global uh, which was the keyword they could use as a namespace and this one except is the key for that so I will go with the global which is fine most other people also do it and this is the short description and then you will select the content type now the content type for this one of course we are going to use text so this will be text either it is single line or multiple line the good thing about multiple line is you can have like a VZWIG editor for that also so here I will add a description for this one you can add extra info about your product okay cool and now I'll save it let's see what it is going to create for us now this is the excerpt if I go and create a product since this is a navy store I'm going to create a product and let's say I have created my product in here I will have access to the excel you can click here and this is where you can add extra information easily in here and when you add the information you can uh, access this one in the uh, front store of you like in the storefront of your store or in the front end and you can display the data there this is one of the cool feature the other feature which uh, you have to know is the section everywhere uh, currently only the new team which is called down has this feature now your website should be available if I click on this one yes as you can see it is available and you can see everything in here so if I scroll down here and click in the customize you can easily see all the new section for the store uh, that we have created now let's check the section everywhere uh, you may know like I'm using a bigger screen if I change the screen height in here I don't know if you can see it or now yes you can see it if I bring it down one of the things that happen to the store is the sitting will be uh, hidden in here so if you see the sitting is hidden it is basically added be like underneath this one so if I click on this announcement board now I can go back here but if you have a bigger screen I'll bring it back to normal more slightly more now you can see the other uh, option for the announcement bar will appear in the right sidebar so again if you are clicking on opening any section you will select the section in here and you will have the sitting on the other side this is a nice feature if you are a, if you have a bigger screen you can have both of them at the same time instead of clicking back and forth you can just click on the other section on the footer you will have all the related sitting in the right sidebar which is a cool feature the other thing was like section everywhere which you can add a block and I'm going to create section everywhere in another video in this theme but for now let's see the structure of this theme you can click in the theme setting from here uh, which display all the setting previously it was another tab one of the other thing is like you can access all the setting at the top here I really like this feature because you don't have to be in the and the three level menu to access this one now from here I can go to edit code and see what are the new thing in this theme so this is the last thing I'm going to talk about in here uh, you can see they have templates in here you have 404.json you have article.json they have block.json and card.json these are new templates now I will focus more about them in the future but for now this is what you should know you can create two types of template either they are JSON or liquid both of them are working fine but the JSON one will be able to use the section everywhere feature if you have a section in your section folder sections folder you can access those sections in the 404 page and the 404 page will store only the data for that se section we will focus more about this one in the future but for now that is all you have to know that is the new feature that is in the theme you can create you cannot have two 404 like one is 404.liquid one is 404.json the article can have only one 
uh, but it is name but you can have multiple templates if you want with different names like those are the new feature now if you want to study more by yourself this uh, URL will show you the like the migration from the team which uh, explain like everything but if you don't I will focus them in the future video and create a like section uh, on the team and we will see how you can extend your team or the existing team that you have here or you can add this feature to your own team so yeah that's it I hope this video has been informative if you have any question for now and you can ask below the comment I will make uh, I try to answer those questions in the future videos and that's it yeah thank you for watching I will see you in the next video